all the all the patients I get are referred. You know, somebody else has referred a man, for example. Uh, I had a gentleman call me, and uh, he called me and said, my son's got Burkitt's lymphoma. It's a very aggressive cancer, a little five-year-old boy, really sweet kid. And uh, his dad said that every time he had the chemo, he would have to, they, they were coming in from about 300 miles away. They'd have to camp out at the hospital. And every time he had the chemo, he had to have IV fluids for a week and IV antibiotics. His lungs were all congested. He had sores. He was weak and exhausted. And the dad said, you know, somebody told me to call you and maybe you can help. And, I, and he said, what do you do? And I gave him a brief description and he said, well, can you send me a little information? I said, well, I'll give you some stuff. Yeah, sure. Um, but just come in and we'll talk. And so I didn't hear from the dad again for about four or five months. It seems his son had just finished his last round of chemo and thought the cancer was gone. It came back started chemo again and the first treatment the exact same thing happened as every other time had to have the IV fluids the IV antibiotics for a week sick weak exhausted so the dad called up you know this is I'm calling back again is what can what can we do and I said well can you bring him in he said no I don't I, I can't do that it's just it's just so hectic when we're here and I says well why don't you and your wife come in he said okay and couldn't get that uh, we, they couldn't get that organized so Finally, he said, you know, is there something you can give me? And I go, well, okay, I'll, I'll give you, there's one thing I can give you to help get you started. So he didn't even come get it. He had to send somebody to come and pick it up, and I gave him some glyconutrients. And the dad um, took, the, took it to his son, started giving it to him, and uh, he called me back about two weeks later, and he said, I got to tell you, it worked. That stuff you gave me, it was amazing. He said... Every other time we had to have, stay there for a week, they let us go that day. He did the chemo, they gave him an oral antibiotic. He was still tired and weak, but they let us go home. That's the first time ever. And he said, I, I, I can't believe it. it really worked. I'm really amazed. Now this dad was, he was a pharmaceutical rep, so he was even more skeptical, but he was so, he, he just had to do something. So I had told him to give him a supplement. The, it was about, I told him to give him about 10 scoops a day. And the dad said, I got a confession to make. I only gave him two scoops instead of the 10, and it did that much. So after that, the dad says, this works, it's amazing. At the same time, I told him about a press release that the new head of Emory School of Medicine, the biochemistry department, the chairman, was a glyconutrients expert, and he was on various boards throughout the country, and that glyconutrients essentially are one of the, they're their focus of where the future in healthcare is gonna go. Drugs are going to, they're trying to synthesize these glyconutrients and trying to make things out of them, but you know, they're available now in the natural form. So the, the boy, this is, this was about two years ago, the boy is now cancer free. Even all the nurses and the oncologists were really impressed about how well he's doing.